let's look at Leibniz integral rule okay so if I have f of alpha equal to integral a of alpha to b of alpha f of x comma alpha dx just look at this guy you have f of x comma alpha dx okay so it is going to have x and alpha when you're going to integrate this right and when you're going to replace x with b alpha and with a alpha finally when you take the limits you are essentially going to get a function of alpha okay therefore this essentially is a function of alpha okay so if this is a function of alpha then derivative of this guy that is f dash alpha is given by integral a alpha to b alpha partial derivative of this guy with respect to alpha dx plus function b comma alpha so in this function you replace x with b the value of function b comma alpha partial derivative of b with respect to alpha minus the value of this function at x is equal to a into partial derivative of a with respect to alpha okay so your d by d alpha of this which is this is given by this formula okay so let us see why we are learning this particular rule okay let's see what happens when i have b alpha as a constant and i have a alpha as another constant okay so i have b alpha as k1 and a alpha as k2 okay therefore now my f dash alpha is going to be equal to integral k1 to k2 del by del alpha f x comma alpha dx plus now del b by del alpha now b is k1 therefore del by del alpha of a constant is going to be 0 right therefore I have f b comma alpha into 0 similarly del a by del alpha you take this over here since this is a constant you are going to get 0 so you have minus f of a comma alpha into 0 so essentially what you get is your f dash alpha is equal to k1 to k2 partial derivative with respect to alpha of f of x comma alpha dx okay so this is used in certain integrals which cannot be easily solved okay so let's take an example let's suppose you want to integrate x raised to power alpha minus 1 upon log x dx where your limits are from 0 to 1 okay so what you're going to do is we are going to assume that this is f of alpha okay if this is f of alpha then what is f dash alpha f dash alpha is given by this guy okay so this is 0 to 1 partial derivative of this guy this is your f of x comma alpha right so partial derivative of this guy is going to be what del upon del alpha x raised to power alpha minus 1 upon log x dx okay so this is going to be equal to 0 to 1 we are going to differentiate this with respect to alpha and x is a constant okay so this is going to be equal to log x into x raised to power alpha upon log x okay just look we are differentiating this 